We've got a special guest today, Kira here, Hawkins. Yeah. <laughs> uh, from the local high school here. What year are you, Kira? I'm about to be a sophomore. About so. to be a sophomore. Young player, loves mm -hmm. golf, wants to play college golf, and a really, really good player. Tell me a little bit about what you've been seeing and feeling. I mean, um, we had a tournament last week. We didn't play as well. Yeah. And what was going on there with the ball flight, with the contact? What did you feel? Um, mostly my ball was just like kind of a weaker draw. I okay. felt like just my backswing felt like fine. Maybe yeah. it was like getting a little changed when I was like setting up to hit the ball. But I would just drop my club and it felt really out of normal. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so um, go ahead and hit a couple more and then we'll take a look at it and see what we can do, okay? Good, um, let me see this. Under the... Way under there, okay, and hold it up there and hit a couple. Very clean contact. The end of the day, what's going on in the golf swing is the arms get up there and the body shoots forward. The arms get up there and the body shoots forward and then no it falls what, behind, yeah. no, matter, no matter what. That's the one yeah. common thing. So I took the towel out and I put the towel under your arms because it's yeah. forcing you to take your chest and your arms, which are now attached to your chest, and use that versus... Yes, there you go. That's what we got to do. Yeah. Hands would kind of get whipped up there, and then Fly lower path. body would shoot up, and now the arms would be way behind, right? Mm -hmm. And so it'd be like, boom, yeah. you know, something like that. Now, it's much more of just the chest in the center of the body, turning the arms to the top, and that chest and center yeah. of the body turning the arms through, right? And again, yeah. the more you have this in your, not even just your golf practice, but your everyday life, you feel like mm -hmm. these arms are literally attached here or sewn your yeah. armpits have the armpit glue in them. Yeah. Um, that's what's gonna let our big muscles in our torso swing and the club. And it'll keep it the same every time. And it'll be yeah. the same every single time. Yeah. But this really takes out a ton of the variables and the disconnection. Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah. What a difference. Beautiful. And again, you know, this will, it may feel like awkward or it may feel or like you like can't swing as hard. Like, yeah. yeah, but you will no doubt 100% hit it further Yeah. and you will hit it straight. Oh, I'm hitting it, I'm hitting it, like my nine iron with the towel in yeah. is going with a lot more power than I was hitting it in my tournament. Good, so. good, 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 good. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I just love seeing that club get around you, you know, and yeah. having it get to your back and the arms get past you and finish. Yeah. Really good. Couple more. Three. Yeah, and here's the thing, you haven't even hit him come close to hitting him your furthest yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? So it's like good, I'll like over time I'll get So here's what I think, I think you can do the exact same thing, and when you do feel a little bit of the leg shoot forward, mm -hmm. it's only because you're reaching the top of your swing and the transition happens really quick. And it just... So give me just a tiny little pause up there, okay. not like the whole Hideki pause, but just like get it up there, feel it set, and then get the towel moving. Boom, there you go. Feel that difference? Yeah. Okay. That came down together. Little pause. That a girl. Awesome. That right was there. way better, yeah. Okay. Every tournament you should be warming up with this in. Yeah. Right? And then the other piece, right? That's the mm -hmm. connection. We were talking about staying on top of it and yeah. not getting stuck underneath. Mm -hmm. Staying on top of it is the same thing as covering the golf ball, right? Covering Your the golf chest. ball yeah. is when the right shoulder moves down and through. If the right shoulder is moving this way and not shooting this way, the club, boom, will work right back down on the plane, yeah. right? And when that's, I'm watching golfers, I like when they're like right arm is like kind of what directs it. In like front of like, them. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. And what's right. happened for you is that right arm drops behind because of this groundwork, right? Yeah. So this towel is great because it keeps, it makes you hit it with this like right portion of your Still chest. Speed. Okay, yeah. because you have your shirt you can yeah. always use, totally legal. Yeah. You have the feeling of a little bit of the tension in those upper arms, okay? Yeah. They'll do one or both arms, right? And for you, boom, we can do both. Yeah. Right? So uh -huh. that's actually completely legal for you to do. Oh. And it, it like more than drill. serves as you holding it, it just serves as like the mental reminder to create the yeah. connection, okay? Because again, it's one of the hardest things for taller players is... Yeah keeping the connection of the arms with the body, being that Jordan Spieth. Oh my gosh, the rhythm on that one was something really different. Yeah. Okay. And again, you Like get I thought there was a pause there, but there really wasn't a pause. That should be how my... Right. It feels different than it actually is. Yeah. Couple more with that. The longer yeah. the club gets, 
the more important that little pause and that rhythm at the top gets. Again, here's what happens for your rhythm at the top. The arms are up there, and, and then shoots. this and this happens yeah. before the hands even move, and that it's move so made yeah. the shoulder come down, right? And mm -hmm. now I'm stuck way inside, and I'm working hard not to, yeah. okay? So the more you do this, the more your body begins to figure out ways to apply yeah. the right type of speed on the versus the, twitch, yeah. the wrong type of speed in mm -hmm. the twitch, right? Absolutely you another at home drill you can do for this right Kev jump in front we can put this yellow rod right here right uh -huh. we can get our setup and here's what we can know we take our backswing and as I come through I want to feel like that club boom starts to cover up the golf ball visually and my leading edge gets to that yellow line for you it's like that yeah. it's like that right it's shifting so up. again boom it's going to feel a little bit more around it's going to feel more around though with your upper body because it's your shoulders that, that drop right stuff. yeah there we go yeah that was better good awesome hey kira yeah. great job today yeah. okay thank um, you we're going to bring a new level of consistency to yeah. the game and it's going to come from this right here yeah. so we're just going to connect the golf swing we're going to keep that in there for you know a ton of hours when we practice yeah. You can go through the bag with it because you yeah. have the, the, the long enough arms and yeah. levers to still be able to hit fully. Mm -hmm. And um, you've got the at-home feeling of what has to happen. Yeah. Right? And again, we know that all of this happening is going to turn into the club coming boom right Definitely down. Definitely way the better ball. online. Awesome. And, yeah. Okay, great job. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>